In today's episode, we'll be telling you about the Black Friday plans. We'll also be showing you the changes we've made to the new interface, as well as answering your questions. Hello, tankers! The time has come for the biggest discounts of the year. Don't miss the Black Friday sales in Tanky Online. Today, an Arctic discount cyclone sweeps over the shop items, capturing challenge stars, containers, gold boxes and much more, sweeping away half of their cost. The cyclone also brings a moderately warm breeze into the garage area, and a rare westerly wind, combined with thunderstorms and lightning are expected. Such wind occurs where atmospheric pressure rises, which inevitably reaches 70% on Hazel's care scale. Micro-upgrades and speed-ups promise to match the weather and be lightning fast. We will also see pouring tropical rain in the shop from special offers. Let me remind you, in the last episode of the vlog, we dwelt in detail on Ultra Containers. This time we can tell what was hiding under the question marks. On Black Friday, you can find in Ultra Containers all Ultra and XT skins, and even the Steampunk skins for Mammoth and Twins, along with the Crisis Drone. If you have been saving up crystals and tank coins for the whole year, now is the time to spend them wisely. Remember when we announced new audio in the interface? As of this week, you can already hear it. In the lobby and garage, we have ambient sounds. And in the shop, there's pleasant music for a quiet walk around the counter. Let us know in the comments how your ears feel in the new atmosphere. Those who are closely following the updates on the test servers know that we are preparing the next HD scan, and that it will be an HD scan for the Twins turret. Write in the comments the hashtag waiting for twins HD and in the next release it will appear in the game. There's not much longer to wait. Hello everyone, long time no see. It's time for the rare but very interesting section of the vlog. Hazel will be showing you the new interface, which will be released one day. Some of you might have already seen it on the test server. There's one important thing to mention. What you saw on the test server is just 20% of the final result. Yes, fonts and colors may have already been changed, but in fact there are still more adjustments on the new interface to be made. For example, here we can see the containers screen, which looks much better now. You can see that not all the containers you may have are listed here. Don't worry, if you select one of the container types, another page opens with all the containers in this category that you might have in your garage. This is also where you can open your containers. Anyway, let's move on to the new interesting features. Actually, they're not that new. Hey, Battle Screen, haven't seen you in a while. We have carefully read all the feedback about the new interface, what you do and don't like about it, so we have decided to change it. I will tell you about the elements of this screen starting from the top and going clockwise. We've cleaned up game mode indicators, simplifying them to make them less distracting. You can now read them more quickly. To the right of them, you can see some emoticons. They will appear above tanks, as you can see in the center of the screen. The idea is to make in-battle communication easier, so you can talk to others without using the chat. We came to realize that complicated commands like let's attack on the left side, or attack on the right side, or defend me, shouldn't be added, as you likely won't be using them a lot. Seriously guys, we see what you say in the chat, and such commands are not what you want. Rather, you want to show your emoticons. We think that these icons are enough to show how you feel in battles. Let's move on to the lower right corner. This again is about game mode indicators. This letter A and this arrow show where you should bring a ball or a flag to. I would like to draw your attention to them once again. They will always be here, showing you where you should rotate your camera to see your goal. And now on to the most interesting part, the bottom of the screen. On the right side, we can see all the supplies. They are like your abilities. Nothing was changed here except the new icons, which you can already see. Yes, it looks very similar to Tanky X, but we won't do anything about that. Let's move on to the middle. We can see the most important button. It is the overdrive indicator. Below it, you can see the number of nuclear energy supplies you have. We've removed the special indicator for it. The yellow bar above the indicator is not for your overdrive charge. It is your tourist charge. We moved it away from above the tank from the center of the screen, as you didn't quite like all the other options. 
In the end, we moved it to the lowest zone of the screen. And now you can see how much of your turret's energy is remaining, but not how your turret is reloading. We are still working on it. For example, we have an idea for changing the colors of the highlights around opponent's tanks, depending on how charged your turret is. On the left side, we have a new element. I guess the biggest one. Let's take a closer look at it. Firstly, this big blue bar which shows the current health points of your tank. In Tanky X, the health bar was very small. In our new interface, it's big and easy to read. Above this bar, we have all the temporary statuses of your tank, supplies and status effects, as well as their durations. And under this bar, we have permanent statuses of your tank. In other words, these huge icons show the augments equipped on your hull and turret. Ignore that there are currently two augments for different turrets. It is just a prototype. On the left, you see the augment equipped on your turret, and on the right, the augment on your hull. Next to them, you can see three small icons. These show the protection modules equipped. Now you will always see which modules you have equipped, without needing to open the scoreboard to find it out. We think that these icons won't distract you, because they are small and are placed in the far corner of the interface, somewhere that you will not be looking at while playing. On the left side, you can also see the radar. We didn't remove it, only changed its position. But we added some new functionality to it. You can see some new lines on the edges of the radar. We would like to increase its abilities by making it show you not only the opponents that are near you, but also those who are far away. You will see icons for opponents who are within a 60 meter radius around you. And for those who are further from you, there will be lines on the edges of the radar. We think that this might be useful. Um, that's all for today. That's how the new interface will look. Thanks for watching. Ah, come on, I'm just kidding. Look at what we have here. We really do read your feedback. And it's very important to us. We will have two versions of the new interface released. The second version of the new interface is very similar to the current one, which you are used to. Overdrive and radar are in their respective places. So are the supplies, health bar and ammo bar. If you prefer it this way, we will give you an option to have it this way. Let's check the rest of the elements. This? Um, sorry, but I think I will have to wait for next time. The last thing is the scoreboard. No changes here. We have all the usual elements here. Well, the only change is that we decided to darken the whole screen when you open it. So you can quickly focus on the information you're looking at, and then return to the battle. Okay, one more thing. The login screen. The most important and coolest new element here is the button in the upper right corner that will disable background music. Yeah, we moved our main soundtrack to this screen, so it'll be less distracting for you. And in the garage, we will have the new ambient sounds. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will tell you about pro battle changes and what will happen to the ideas we mentioned in previous episodes of the vlog. We have a batch of questions to answer, so let's hurry up. Why is the new map Chernushka not HD? We created the Chernushka map a long time ago, but due to Flash platform restrictions, we were not able to release this map, as performance values on this map were way too low. And now we have dozens of old maps to be remastered. Will you make sure that the HD turrets all have some unique animation or moving parts when firing like it was done with Smokey? The latest HD turret, Firebird, did not have any special animations and the flame it shoots out is still in 2D. We're not trying to cram as many animations as possible into the turrets. Our goal is to make the turret look organic. For example, for Thunder, the animations of the shell and barrel will not be superfluous. Meanwhile, for Firebird, it doesn't look right. As for the special effects, we will work on them separately soon. Do you have plans to add new higher-quality skyboxes to fit the new HD maps? The remaster of the sandbox map is already using a new skybox. Will you add a tic-tac-toe minigame that is available in the mobile version to the PC version of the game? It's a good way to spend your time while waiting for a match without leaving the game window. We are tired of moving our tanks in the garage and would like another way to spend the time. According to the data we have, the average battle waiting time is not long enough to spend our resources on adding this minigame. However, map loading takes more time, and we will try to find something for you to do as you wait. Why has my gear score changed? I didn't do anything, I didn't change turrets. In a recent update, we changed the way the gear score is calculated. 
previously. Most of the points were from the turret and hull. Now these points are divided between the turret, hull and the drone. Why? In one of the updates this year, drones gained the ability to boost the power of your supplies. And this update reflects that. If your GS has dropped significantly, it means that you still haven't upgraded your drone and could easily lose in battles. We recommend that you urgently upgrade any drone during discounts. Do you plan to settle in and make permanent mechanics for a turret? So do you plan to reach the perfect balance and stop changing parameters of tanks? Or will you never settle down and give a turret a permanent statistics? Once in the history of Tanky Online, we sat down to develop the final rebalance, which would make everything right. It was the worst version of balance in the game. Balance parameters will be constantly adjusted to maintain a healthy meta. The addition of new content continues, the old meta is improved, and new mechanics appear. Otherwise, players would get bored playing the same stuff every year. Last time, you had to guess how many seconds it would take to destroy the Isida with 95% protection against Vulcan. The correct answer is 16 seconds. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all the news for the week. See you at the same place next time. Don't forget to like the video and hit the bell to get a notification whenever we post a new video. Bye!